Hey guys, John here again from Glad Mines and today we're going to do tattoo removal quick and easy and cheap. <laughs> if only it were as cheap as that in the real world. <laughs> anyway, here's what we're going to do. We've got tattoos on our arms, our forearms, our bicep, um, her side and on her back. And what we're going to do is we're going to step by step remove them all as best we can. So first things first we'll start with the anchor tattoo on our side and we'll grab the patch, pa patch tool with normal selected. We'll draw a highlighted line around the anchor going as close to the bra strap as we can and then we're going to pull it up to the right. As you can see as we've done that it's left a wee blemish left behind so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the patch tool again and we're going to highlight along the edge of the, edge of the strap as best we can and we're going to move that up to the left no we'll try the right yeah that's what we'll do and it pretty much gets rid of that blemish already and then next what we're going to do is we're going to highlight in and we're going to try and clean that up just a wee spot because i'm not 100 percent happy with the way it's been left so we're going to highlight around the edge of the strap and we're going to pull it up to try and take as much of that blemish away as possible right so fit back on the screen and that's step one done now we're going to go to her arm and we're going to get rid of that little bit of writing on the arm which is should be easy enough as we're going to follow the contour of her arm so we're going to highlight it still normal and pull it down just ever so slightly ah, about there and you see there's a wee bit of a blemish there we're going to highlight that yep that's that gone now what we're going to do now is we're going to just tidy that up a wee bit more yep and just take the patch tool and we're going to go to the edge of the arm and just get rid of that wee line and pull it down just below it and it's pretty much gone already which is pretty good and we'll just use the patch tool as you're there and just fill in some of the wee imperfections in our arm just zooming out having a wee look which a wee spot there let's go in and get rid of now right i'm happy with that now now i'm going to take a look at the tattoo on her back if anybody watches my videos you'll see that i'm quite partial to using the patch tool I think it does an amazing job and it takes a lot of the hassle out of filling in and covering up anything that you want to remove. It's, it's pretty good because it blends in very well. Right, taking the patch tool, I'm going to draw up around the, the inside of the tattoo first. We'll do it bit by bit. We'll not try and do the whole lot together because we want to get the colour in all our back pretty good because there is a couple of different shades of skin colour there. So we're going to try and blend in as much as we can first with the patch tool. Don't worry if the patch tool creates different shades well, we will fill all this in eventually once we get most of the tattoo gone still using the patch tool what we're going to do now is we're going to remove the tattoo up the center of her back so we're going to use the patch tool and we're going to select parts of the tattoo we want to remove and blend them into the curvature of her spine and the bigger part of this back tattoo i think what we'll probably do is we'll probably take it half and half so we'll do the, the left hand side first and then the right hand side next so we'll just select this left hand side and we'll pull it over to the left and draw it around the right hand side of the tattoo we'll pull it down our back a wee bit we'll just take the patch tool and, and we'll again work around the top of the tattoo and we'll pull it up our back a wee bit which is hopefully darken in that white patch And it is a simple enough process anybody could do this some people make this out to be the hardest thing in the world but it's not actually that hard you just need to take your time and do it step by step and you anybody can do this absolutely anybody if i can do it anybody can do it see i actually taught myself to do photoshop uh, before youtube tutorials before um I, there was any help there's any classes there was anything it was a copy of photoshop i had in 3.1 disc and i installed on a computer oh a long time ago and I was just trial and error I was amazed by the package back then but the things you can do with Photoshop now are unbelievable they really are as the saying in Ireland as the saying goes it's going to take a wee while a wee while <laughs> to finish up the blending on her back so I'll just speed through it and I'll come back to you whenever I'm about to do her arm okay Well, that's not looking too bad in their back now so we'll just head over to the 
upper arm and we'll start to get rid of that tattoo. Right, we'll zoom in and what we'll do is we'll use the patch tool for this one. Again, we'll use the patch tool and we're going to use patch tool normal. And we're going to highlight around our whole arm. I think we might get away with doing this in one go. Uh, stranger things have happened. Just take your time and highlight around the um, tattoo as best you can. And hit your selection. Yep. And now we're going to move it over. Um, let me see. We'll zoom out. We'll move it over the side, the left bra strap. Yeah, that looks about right there. Yeah, and we'll take our foot off. Yeah, there you go. That's not too bad already. There's a wee bit down the bottom of wrong, but it's not. It could be worse. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I'm very happy with that. Okay, there's a wee bit of a line there just below her arm, but we'll not worry about that as such. I mean, it's that big tattoo on her forearm that, that's got me worried. So we'll use the pen tool and we'll make a selection. And we'll just speed through this because it's going to be something similar to the back tattoo. Right, as I'm speeding through this last part of the tutorial, um, you can see that I'm using the similar techniques to what I use for the back tattoo. And the only difference is that I do use the blur tool to blur around the edge of the arm. And I use a paintbrush tool with a flow rate of about 20, just the color in the arm a bit to make it a bit more natural looking. Also guys, listen, thanks very much for watching these videos. I really appreciate your views and thank you for taking the time to actually watch it. And if you have got this far, please definitely take a minute and subscribe to my channel. My main mission is to grow this channel as best I can and the more subscribers I get, the better content I put out. That's just the way it is. So hopefully everybody will subscribe and will continue to grow this, at this channel. It's, you know, it's not going to be as big as some of the channels, but it'd be nice to get more subscribers and more views. But guys, and that's how you remove a tattoo for free. <laughs> There's no laser needed. <laughs> Listen guys, thanks for watching and um, stay with Glad Minds tutorials and there'll be another tutorial coming soon. And definitely, as I said before, please do subscribe and keep with me. And thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye.